Okay, in this session, I'm going to show you how to uh, manipulate some of your data in Excel uh, for grade distribution purposes. I have a mock setup of uh, grades here. So we've got teachers, and this is just the full list is uh, exported straight from Infinite Campus. Uh, so what I'm going to do is a couple things. I'm going to first put a filter on top so that I can sort things if I want. And I'm going to do that by clicking uh, data, data, and this little filter button here that'll put filters along every column so if I want I can sort things in a certain column or look at just specific classes if I want or I can uh, look at just specific grading terms if I want so I can use the filters uh, to my advantage to look at whatever pieces I want for instance if I just want to look at just the first grading period I could do that and this would only show me first grading period okay so I'm going to go back to normal there the most important thing we're going to do is insert a pivot table to uh, count up all these pieces for us. So what I'm going to do is go up here and click on insert and pivot table. Uh, then I'm just going to say OK. That will bring me to this new screen. So if you notice over here on the right side of the screen, there are uh, all the fields that we had in our previous document. So I'm going to pull certain ones down to certain areas. I'm going to pull the uh, grading teacher display down to the rows column. Just do this by clicking on it and dragging it down there, dropping it. And I'm going to pull grading term down there as well, right underneath it. Uh, then I'm also going to go up and pull rating score. Grading score is going to go into the columns label. And then I'm finally going to pull a grading score also down to the values level. Now, when I get this in the values level, I'm also going to have to click on the little drop down menu here and change it, an option. So I'm going to click on the drop down. I'm going to choose the value field settings. Then I'm going to go to count and say OK. Uh, now, as you can see, this, this table is displaying all the counts of the different percentages we have. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here <clears throat> to the little drop down beside the column label. And we're going to choose label filters. And we're going to go begins with, and we'll choose whatever grade we want to see. So if we want to see the A's, we can put an A in. If we want to see the B's, we'll do that as well. So I'm going to start with A and say OK. Now you notice that for this teacher, I have uh, the total A's that they gave. And then I have also the split up for each term. Same thing for teacher two. I have the total A's they gave, and then the split out for each term. Okay. And I would just continue this. These are the numbers I'm going to put into my template uh, if I want to uh, graph these or do something with them further. So if I wanted to see the Bs, I could do the same thing. Click on the little labels, filters. I'm going to begin with. I'm going to change this to B. And now we can see the Bs for each teacher in each grading period. So there's the total for teacher two. Uh, and then also the uh, ones for each term. So we have listed. 